They used to say, words couldn't hurt me. Videos, it's my name, they getting thirsty. Go ahead and put him in a hearse. It's getting murky, this time I deserve this. I'm ready for whatever war said he been a matador. Stand for the things I'm dreaming for. I mean, Kevin. Jay Prince responds to what, YouTube bloggers? Or what exactly? Y'all listen to what this man is trying to say, trying to justify things and everything like that. Hold on. You know, today is a, <clears throat> it's a hell of a time, you know, where a lie is the truth and the truth is a lie. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers today is, is a <clears throat> so blind and brainwashed with this lie until their whole life become a lie. Your whole life, nigga, walk like liars, talk like liars, smell like liars. Niggas just want to embrace and inhale YouTube, social media bullshit. Where a lie is the truth and the truth is the lie. Don't, Y'all don't become them kind of people. That's weak shit all around the world. Get y'all off of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go. Look at the traffic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Okay. We can move on around this now. One thing about me, I ain't got no. I ain't got no problem with introducing myself to none of this new shit. Y'all heard about me, but... Well, let's do it this way. Jay Prince, you do realize your son has directly affected your pockets, right? Rappers are not about to keep checking in with y'all, number one. Number two, you know, now y'all technically can be sued. I laid out a video yesterday where the venue did not have enough security. So because of that, the venue and the rap label both got sued for $160 million. Go check it out. I'll post it in the comments. So all you idiots who are about to try to, oh, Sandy Dash, you know what you're talking about? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So Jay Prince, you're about to possibly be sued because your son, let it be known that, what's cuz name? Can't remember uh, no cap was gonna be there. He decided not to show up. Smart move by him. And Amigos is gonna be there. And Shakur Stevenson, which means that there had to be afforded, even though it's a private event, a level of security there because these people are what celebrities. I think you have it misconstrued that this is 20 years ago, even 10 years ago. The mystery and the mystique and all that that comes with that. Bruh, it's dissipating so fast. And it's not because of you, it's because of your kids. Now, with no disrespect when I say this, Jay Prince, you haven't caught up to the times yet. You see, you do have an immense amount of experience, but the way you craft your message is very unlikable. The last second to that, you basically just said, let me reintroduce myself. Are you going to do it by force? Uh, these kids are soft these days. So you can't go in it and about it like you would before with force. With you going to pummel and beat up a lot of cats, they just allow people that snitched to still sell records. So it ain't the same anymore. And when you realize that, it's going to suck because you're going to realize you've been playing the game differently. And the way you play in the game is from the old school, from the 90s, from the early 2000s, that type of stuff. And this ain't the same no more. See, social media allows people to paint a picture about you that you may not like. Oh, and it's all opinion based off of what they gathered from what they seen from you. And you can't control somebody's opinion like you used to could way before. And that's the problem with you older cats. Y'all don't get it. See, what you should have did is one said nothing. Because nobody was thinking about you. They would think about jazz and everybody else. So you should have played the background. Then on top of that, y'all took the spotlight for yourselves. Y'all did a funeral arrangement 
with flowers and decorative stuff and put y'all name across it. Instead of Houston stands with Quavo. I mean, with takeoff, pardon me. <coughs> Instead of something like that. Nah, you couldn't do that. You had to sit up there and put your name on it. So when people see people like you that want the spotlight and keep your name popping, even though it's some BS, understand this. <clears throat> they didn't make this up. The man DJ Pat had on mob ties gear. So the accusations aren't false at all. Did you forget that? See, y'all sell lies. Y'all sell lies. And then beat people across the head with it until they accept it as true. Them days are over. So with all due respect, nah. Nah. And like I said, I ain't got nothing against them cats or anything like that. I don't want no problems with them. I ain't backing down for no problems. That's for sure. But I don't want no problems with none of these cats. I wish them high success, high progress and all that. But I'm a man first. And as a man, I'm telling you cats, y'all put out the wrong message. Y'all did. You put out the wrong vibes. You have. They stopped liking you after that NBA young boy shit because you tried to use force when all you would have had to do was get Buddy back your stuff and went, man, listen, some people broke into your stuff. I sent you your keys back. I handled that for you, man. You ain't got to move that type of way and everything like that. We function with you out here. See, the days of the tough love part, that don't work no more. It's all about with these youngins, show love. Do something for them. It ain't no more, hey, you got to do this and you got to do that. And then we're going to rock with you. Them days are over. So since the NBA young boy incident, you ain't realized it, but your public image looks horrible. It just does. Them people that normally checked in with you in Houston and everything, the celebrities who y'all didn't introduce them to the best jewelers, the best food, the best clubs, the best promoters. Y'all done made a lot of people's music careers pop. But throughout the years... That's over now. All that good that you did in the past don't matter no more. Yeah, I know about Karen's doing some great things for a lot of rappers, including from Drake all the way down to the Yuck Mouth. And a lot of y'all don't know who the hell Yuck Mouth is. But he's a dude out there in Oakland who just sold a lot of records and it's trended out there. But, hey, it don't matter. It's not about yesterday. It's about today. And you claim you're about to reintroduce yourself. If you try to do it by force, I promise you, Y'all will be blacklisted so bad that you'll realize everybody around you is going to have to cut ties with mob ties. Because if you tied in with them, it's a sinking ship and nobody wants to be a part of that. If you have to realize that the hard way, you're going to be pissed. And somebody around you going to spend a lot of time in jail trying to prove a point that you should have just recreated your image. And it ain't too late. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this one. I had a lot to say on this because I ain't going to hold you. I just thought it was conveniently stupid. A dumb message to put out there. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street the Music, Setting Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video.